welcome to an all new episode of it. Uh, uh, tell you later. Thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. When we're not searching, searching, searching for seven thousand year old petroglyphs, petroglyphs, we watch tell you later. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> That's a spittle deflector. Right. Hello, everyone. Hi. I think there's a better way of saying that, a moisture deflector. Barrier? Yes. Right. We, we just looked at the first couple of episodes of this series, and... Um, I thought we looked a little unsafe, even though we have achieved, in, in our opinions, um, mutual, uh, what's the word? I always forget that word. Uh, Homeopathic uh, immunity. Anyway, we did watch a video, <laughs> and there was a, a little moisture flying, and so Will right. thought this might be good. You mean the one episode where I spat at you? Something like that. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. It didn't look good. But I think you're going to be more, now that you're aware, do you, I think you can remove some of your uh, achachapis there. Oh, well, maybe. I'm trying to think of the polite word for spittle. Um, what's that mm. word? Oh, gentlemen who expectorate should not expect to rate. Remember that? Oh, no, expect to date. No, to rate. Or date. To, or, or date. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay. Well, well, the word's out. <laughs> All right. So that limits your options, that you be, know. Let that be a, a word to the wise. Mm -hmm. Anyway, welcome, uh, welcome. A word to the Weisenheimers. The word to the... So, can we... Um, uh, is this how we're going to do the whole episode? Hold on. I want to see who's talking. It's me! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, he don't talk it to in, He thought he was in a different show. <laughs> no, no. I just want to double check. Well, while you're... Don't don't, don't say anything while I lower this. <laughs> it is you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that tongue anywhere. <laughs> Ew. Okay, this is starting off on the wrong... Foot? Foot. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? That's what they call clam feet are their tongues. They look like they're... You know, the things that... Come out of clams and mollusks. They're, 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 you know, they come out and that's how they get around. But they're called feet. But they look like tongues. Hmm. Uh, you, have you ever seen a gangster with a gun mole? A mole. A gun mole. You know his. His girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have. Well, in a movie. Why? <laughs> well, I would have said gun mole. And and you you pronounced the word mollusks. Mollusks. Oh, and I see. So I'm supposed to be mollusks. I don't know. Well, let's. It has it two up. L's, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know what? You're gonna have to. Somebody. I think the crew of one's gonna have to hand me my phone, or somebody can write in in the comments below. Is it mollusks or mollusks? Um, Katie said crew of one. If you if you didn't catch crew that. Crew of one. Yes. We have a crew of one who's helping us, and we wouldn't be able to do this without. We don't, right. And we don't wish to brag. Our fabulous crew of one. Right. So welcome to Tell You Later. Yes. Yeah, welcome. we are so happy. And thank you so much for following us all this time up until mm -hmm. now because it's taken us a while to, to get a hang of this thing. And, and now we know that we're in a rhythm and we just wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, especially his arm a little numb, shout out to I Margaret think. Dumont for following us. <laughs> thank you, Margaret. <laughs> uh, no, but thank you so much. If you so keep much. following me, I'll have you arrested. We also want to encourage everybody to follow us on Patreon. Support us over there if you like what you're seeing. If uh, please uh, 
We have a few tiers that we're working on the names, but we think we've got them figured out. For first, first of all, if you'd like to join us and be part of our audience, that's O-D-D-I-E-N-C-E. Or as I like to say, O double D. <laughs> INC. Uh, for $2, Python. yes, you get to watch these videos ad free. So that's kind of a cool thing, I think. And probably including a bonus video because, as you know, we're going, we put up one show a week on YouTube. And then we also have a second that comes out through Patreon through our subscribers. Our $10 tier are Odd Fellows. And that includes all the audios and videos. Plus, Knock, knock. Who's there? Our bonus edition, bonus chapter video book is available on mm. Patreon. Wow. That's now, like you're supposed over... to say our bonus edition, bonus chapter video book is available on Patreon who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm supposed to say all that? Yeah. Without a script? <laughs> Can we dub it in later? Voice actors don't memorize stuff. Yeah. Not I don't. Well, anyway. not not. But we not that we kind actually of recorded a video. Book. If we're in a movie, we memorize our it. book. Oh oh wait, our book. Crew of One. Hemi, uh, we our Adventures in Oddity book bonus edition uh, has bonus chapters, and we actually recorded a video book. So like hmm. this video here, this is the the printer's copy. That's why. This is not for resale. So nobody buy this one, okay? But if you are interested in buying a copy, it's available on the website, my website, www.katielee.com. How do you spell Katie? K-A-T-I-E. And how do you spell Lee in your case? L-E-I-G-H. Okay. And in Janet Lee's case, too. So there's no Y in Katie and there's no uh, double E in Lee. No, and there's no I in team either. Hmm. <sighs> Let's think about that for a minute. There's no I in team? No. You know what that means, right? It means if you want to order a copy of the book, go to a website, or it's also, they can find us at voiceofyourchildhood.com, and you can order a autograph copy. Otherwise, if you aren't interested in an autograph copy, you can just go to Amazon and get it there. We also have the audio version of our book, but to see the video version of us reading our bonus chapters, one must become a Patreon subscriber at the $10 tier. Hmm. And Did by the way, that's that's over 60 minutes. It's over 70 minutes, I think? Oh, it's two hours. It's what? No, wait. No, it isn't. The audio is two hours. The bonus chapter is an hour. You're right. Right. You're right. Yeah. You are correct. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Because there's only, only video of us doing the, the new 58 pages. I'm starting to think you look like... A big round circle because oh, I can't see your wait, face. Hold on, d d hold your breath. <gasps> it's me. <sighs> it's me. By the way, there's no you in team either. That's true, and that is another good point. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we're going to be having some other levels. Oh, the, our patron, 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 Patreon pr prod users level, so they can prod p r o double d. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Users. They're going to get everything that I just mentioned, plus discounts on products, 10% discounts, and they get their name in their pro as producers in our credits and shout outs. So, because wow. we appreciate, we appreciate, we like doing this. We have a lot of fun. Oh, that's the other thing in this long introduction. Why are we doing this? Will and I. You made a list and I made a list. Okay. So my list, you want to start with yours? Sure. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm going to put this down, okay? I'm going to hold my breath the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because... I can actually hold my breath for like 60 seconds. Okay, you I'll try to do it. You should time me sometime. I'll, I'll try to... Okay. Because there's a lot of stuff we'd like to do, which is not unrelated to the stuff we do on radio and on television and in movies, um, except it would be our projects and or projects, if you prefer. And, and we'd like to do them. And we need financing to do them, actually. And so this would be a way to, we hope, make that happen with, with the help of people who like the kind of stuff we've been doing for, lo, these many decades, 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Time's up. I'm still holding my breath just to prove a point. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now, okay, now, now you'll say it, and I'll hold my breath. <laughs> 
but but Will and I, people, a lot of people have interviewed us for diff- various podcasts for different reasons. Some people know us because of our careers in, on animated series. Some people know us for our careers on Adventures in Odyssey, the longest-running radio drama in the U.S., going on 34 years. Some people know Will because of his music uh, that he's produced his whole life, and most recently, uh, Will Ryan and the Cactus County Cowboys. So he's got CDs of music. He also writes books that aren't just our book, Adventures in Are You Okay? Um, I have a lot to say. Yeah, okay, so he has books. We're going to make those available. And also his oh. drawings because he's an amazing artist. Now me, I like to crochet. So I'll probably be offering some of my fabulous crocheted dish scrubbies for those of you interested in such things. Um, the Katie Lee Scrubulators. The Scrubulators, exactly. <laughs> You've heard of Tellulator. These are Scrubulators. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. That's good. Here's a pencil. Oh, I got one. I got one. Scrubulators. I like that. That's really good, Will. Thank you. Um, yeah. That's what I'm here for. So basically, our show is a funnel where you can find all the things that were so eclectic. A funnel of love. A funnel of love, yes. I'll show you my love scrubby. Did I show you my heart scrubby? There's a scrubulator of love. Hmm. There's, yeah, I'm looking at the funnel right. of love. Scrubulator of love. All right, so. Oh, Teddy, my feet are sore. I feel like we've stepped on every rock between Maloney and here. Well, That's scrubby. scrubby, I think you ought to use a scrubulator to scrub those <laughs> 150 feet of your... How many feet does Grubby have? He's an octopede, so I would guess he has more than seven, but less than nine, or fewer than nine. And what Will's referring to is a long, long time ago, we were on a show. Oh, he was on the toy, Teddy Ruxpin. Well, we were both did voices for the Teddy Ruxpin toy, some of you may remember. Mm-hmm. And he did Grubby's... What, can, do, are you going to really hold that up? <laughs> Well, I mean, our our crew of one is busy doing other things, so... True. Okay, so anyway, he was Grubby's voice, and I got to play Princess Arusia. And if you go to YouTube, you can look up, and maybe we'll have a link uh, when we get our stuff Hmm. set up, a link to the scene where I'm Princess Arusia, and you are Prince Aaron in the live-action Teddy Rocksman. They did a toy, and we did the books, and I was Princess Arusia... I think. And then we did live action where they had animatronics and you were Grubby's voice and Mm -hmm. um, Prince Aaron. Prince Aaron and you were another character like a monster thingy. Willie what's it? And And, and the the villain Tweeg. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in that episode And a few others. You freed me. You were my brother and you freed me from a cage and it was very lovely. Wow. Yeah so you can see that on YouTube and I I'm so thankful for YouTube because there's stuff we never got to see until YouTube came about. Hmm, that's right. So, because if we missed it when it ran on CBS, I think they were two um, hour long or a half hour long specials on CBS. I'm not sure what it was. I don't know. Later on, there was a television series, but uh, that's a whole I different feel like thing. I we can be talk talking about that to you some on a time. telephone or something. Really? Because <laughs> well, I can see I can see in the monitor. Yeah, but the monitor's down there. I, uh, we keep looking down. This is the Hello. first time we have a monitor down there, so we apologize if we're spending the whole show were looking down. Were you ever down. a hall monitor? I hope not. I possibly think... possibly in third grade one time. I never wanted to be that because, you, you know, you just end up being a... The snitch. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't think I was, even though, um, yeah, I don't think so. No. I, I'm trying to think if I was But I, I remember monitor. some I, I poor kid was... I wouldn't put it past me. Yeah. Some poor kid was, and he ratted on Michael Lyons mm. in third grade. What and, happened? Well, that's a guy you don't want to mess with. I mean, he was a good guy. I often wondered what happened to some of my old well, see, if you, associates you could look from for third them, grade. Like on Facebook. Oh, I suppose so. Yeah. Hmm. But I have to say, Did my you see this? my first. Can I talk about a Patreon or a Patreon? Sure, but I want to show you my glass. Or a patron, it actually. has Connie Kendall's face etched in it. Can you see that? Wow, oh. I can see it from here. Isn't that neato. Wow, boy. I, this is a, I think it might be one of the first times I've actually had liquid in it, and hmm. drunk. but I I thought well, this would be kind of neat to share. As howdy is doody is to a Welch's. Special Christmas gift. I bet you have one. Hmm. Really? But not Connie. 
You well, probably I, have I don't a... think I have. Um, Anywho, go ahead about Michael Lyons and Hall Monitoring. Well, no, I was going to talk about uh, my first patron mm -hmm. was in third grade. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. And I started making little comic books. And, and no, no, before that, um, the guy drawings. Who could draw. Yeah, I was the kid who could draw. So I, I you know, for a penny, I'd draw uh, a nice uh, picture of Popeye mm -hmm. or the Three Stooges, any of the Three Stooges. Wow. And uh, Michael. And then you could take it to the store and buy candy, right? <laughs> Mike, good old Michael no? McGuire. No, <laughs> what did you do with yeah, your you pennies? Could. Yeah, you uh, No, no, I was, I was uh, you're right. I, I completely, that went under my head. But, uh, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I'm trying to be safe here. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> so, just want you to hear me. Okay, okay. I, I, I hear you. Okay. Um, so, Michael, good old Michael McGuire, mm -hmm. who lived on... Oh, gee, just right off at the corner of Athens and was it Bunce Road? Not sure now. But we digress. But down the street from St. Clements. Mm -hmm. And he um, he was my first supporter. And then in uh, the next grade, which I guess mathematically uh, would be the fourth grade. So patronage is, a, you have a long history of patronage. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, boy, Michael McGuire. What about Michael? You might uh, be making a sad voice. <clears throat> yes, I am. But because not everybody lives forever. True. But uh, Michael was a, a great guy. He came over in first grade, came over to our house, and um, um, he always liked to wrestle. <laughs> so we had to wrestle on the front lawn before he came in. <laughs> and then he was there. <laughs> and then uh, as he's sitting there, uh -huh. he looked around. And, you know, my parents meet him and everybody, and my brother and sisters. And he says, boy, everything in your house is Disney. <laughs> was that true? I, I I thought that was normal. But, well, but, like, uh, for instance, what? What did you have in your well, house? This is interesting to me. And I, I bet, I, I bet know, these I, guys want to know, too. I don't know to what he was referring, except we had a jigsaw puzzle of Donald Duck and the nephews, mm -hmm. whose names are? Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Also known as... Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> also known as Rusey Taylor. Oh, well, yeah, Rusey Taylor <laughs> right. did their voice. And, and others. I mean, Clarence But not Nash originally. Did. No, Clarence Nash was the first voice of them. Mm -hmm. And um, although, uh, interestingly, uh, little, what's his name? Are you, are you looking in that camera? I'm not looking down there. Okay. No. Don't. Little, what's his name? Little you know, who was in his, his 80s, but he was... Oh, not you know Dickie I mean. Beals. Yeah, Dick Beals. Okay. Dick Beals did uh, their voice in the no 50s. Kidding. At least once, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, he could have worn their costume too. And we had a a, a Davy Crockett jigsaw puzzle, the shot of uh, Fess so when you finished, holding holding the rifle. In when his you hand. finished your crossword puzzles, did you like glue them and then hang them on the wall, or or would no, you just I, have all these just tables all over maybe, your house? Maybe maybe we put together a jigsaw puzzle while I was there. I, mm. I, I don't know. Yeah. And that's all you can think of. Well, that's all I can remember now. Jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, but I remember it was such a surprising comment at the time. It, 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 you know. And look, how prophetic. Whereas Michael McGuire, I think he had older relatives, you know, <laughs> like parents. Parents, for instance. <laughs> he might have yeah. had an older brother or something, uh -huh. so there might have been Elvis Presley stuff or something else over at their house. Oh, yeah, that makes you sense. Know. Well, that that's so cool. So you, uh, I think that's very prophetic because you ended up coming from Ohio to go work at Disney's. Oh, sure. I always wanted to do that. So it must have been subliminally planted in your brain, having stared at that jigsaw puzzle no, for so long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> I want to put jigsaw puzzles together. Well, so. you know what people paid me for? Not drawing. Well, I think I mentioned this to you, talking about you making these scrubulators. Yes. That uh, my friend, <laughs> Clarence Nash. <laughs> I, you know, I, I came to town yes. and uh, became friends with Clarence Nash, mm -hmm. who was the ori original voice of Donald Duck. Donald Duck. And um, Ducky, as everybody called him, uh, Ducky used to make rugs of, uh, uh, of Donald Duck. And um, I never thought to even ask him to make one for me or ask if I could buy one, you know, or whatever. 
I never thought about that. And, and now be you nice have, to have and it's one. too late. I bet yeah. maybe there's somebody out there might have one or an eBay. I'm making a note, not because I'm not paying attention, but because I am paying attention because I, we have to start putting notes in the in the comments so people know what the theme of our show is. And I think mm-hmm. the theme this time is Donald Duck. Really? I Disney. thought the theme this time was talking about um, uh, Patreons or Patreons, well, whatever they're called. yes, we can... We can, but the, we're always going to do that. So mm-hmm. That's a given. But Donald Duck, because just to add to the Donald Duck theme, I just want to say that my son, my oldest son, Adam, who is pretty shy but very calculative. He's your oldest eldest son, and his name is Adam. Yeah. Can wow. You go figure. Yeah. So Adam once uh, he he never did anything, especially in groups. He didn't like to sing or participate in school because he felt like people I don't know they weren't good enough, and if they screwed up, he didn't want to be part of that group. I don't know, but he was about six years old. My mom took him to a Calabasas pumpkin festival, right? So she took him off on this outing, and when they came home, Adam had this plaque with a kazoo. Uh, glued on it and he had apparently won first place in a telling contest at the pumpkin festival and I said what what did he do she says well we we got there and they were just ending the contest and Adam was watching and I guess in his brain he figured I think I could win this thing and he went up on stage and did his Donald Duck imitation it's like five or six years old and he won the the plaque wow (laughs) And it was, yeah, the ca- the Kazoo Award. I don't know what that, maybe I can find it, might be around here. It's the Uzak Award, which he won in Sasalabak uh, for the um, mm-hmm. um, Nick Pumop Festival. Which is all those things backwards. So, I anyway, hope so. you know what? I think it's time to give your arms a rest because I think our, our, our episode is up. Oh. And hopefully, I did a much better job of. Uh, n- not projecting anything your way. <laughs> yes, this is our safest episode yet. Our safest episode yet. I'll See put ya. that in the notes. All okay. right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll tell you more later. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us at patreon.com front slash tell you later. A really loud shout out to our Odissimo tier patrons, Roxanne Personat, Rebecca Moritzki, Joanna Bolin, Paul Reed, Hannah Whittemore, Snowman Vocals. Thank you! Happy Mom's Day, Mom! Happy Mom's Day! We know officially it's really Mother's Day! But But Happy Mom's Day, Mom! Happy Mom's Day! No, we don't care what all those others say! Cause we're a bit like you, iconoclastic too! What care the likes of we when we formality as you? Oh! Thank you! So happy Mom's Day, Mom, happy Mom's Day. Yes, happy Mom's Day, Mom, to you. Happy Mom's Day, Mom, to you. Happy Mother's Day.